Okay, so this is going to be a quick video on the DeWalt tools. In this video, I'll be showing a quick preview of all of the tools. I don't want to make it too long, but it's just going to be a quick preview on how all of the tools work. And let's get straight into it. First off, we've got the table saw, table saw and stand. I have got a separate video of this, so you can check that out if you want to do see a full in-depth guide about it. But this is it. Just a quick overview. This is the table saw, the DeWalt table saw. It's the FlexVolt model. The battery goes in here. Adjustments on the side, just that's to lock it in. Clip it back up. You can make it adjustments. It's fairly easy. You've got the measurements here and it makes it really easy so that is four centimeters 40 mil it will cut down this is 130 millimeters 13 centimeters okay and you can lock it in place so just on the side to lock it in place you've also got the push stick push stick here okay and I will give you a quick test right now on it. So lock it off. I'm gonna set it to 40 millimeters. Okay, get the battery in. Quick note, they only run off flex volt batteries. Okay, because it's uh, obviously a, one of the bigger type tools, you need a bigger type battery. Turn it on. simple okay so obviously good clean cut very good clean cut and this should be at 40 millimeters four centimeters from a different angle Simple, nice clean cut again. Nice clean cut, okay? So another thing about the table saw, very quickly, is it's got the adjustments on the side. So you can set it to what degree you want it. So that's 45, 45 degree angle, okay? You've also got your depth on cut. So I'm gonna say back to zero. You've also got the depth, which is just here, okay? So, as you can see, the blade is going up because I'm turning it, and it's also going down when I turn it over way. So, that is a quick brief overview of the table saw, and obviously, with the table saw stand, you can wheel the table saw around, and it's very, very portable. So it's very portable as well. So now we've got the dust extractor. So here's the dust extractor. It's another flex volt model. So you need to have the flex volt batteries. And what it does is self explanatory. It just extracts the dust from all of your tools. So when you're using one of your portable tools, the dust goes in and it's minimal dust around and you can also use it as a hoover as well it's not very good at, at, to use as a hoover but 
it does its job so here is the dust extractor you've got this long hose which makes it very handy okay so with the dust extractor you can attach it to most of your cordless tools so you got the sander here just attaches in clip it and it's not going to go anywhere so while you're sanding anything down it will take the dust out and you're free from dust in the air i would still suggest using a face covering a face mask but that is entirely up to you okay let's see on the other tool the planer clip it in lock it in place and it's attached on with the chop saw just attaches onto the back it's got a remote on here you can turn it on and off so turn it on turn it off which makes it very handy for when you want to cut stuff down let's give it a test now turn it on So I took it off so you can see the two differences with the dust extractor and without the dust extractor. So the dust extractor does come in quite handy. So now we're over here, we might as well do the miter saw as well. So as you can see, well, as you just saw, it cuts very well, cuts very fast. It needs to, it is another flex volt model. So you need to have a flex volt battery, okay? Which just clips in here. Simple, okay? But as you can see, cuts neatly. Very neat cuts when you've got a a sharp blade that is but it's also got adjustments so here it's got adjustments can cut both ways a 45 degree mitre each way okay you can also set it to 30 degrees or any amount of degree you need so it comes in very handy Okay, it's also got a bevel cut. So you can set it at different angles both ways. Okay. So it is a very smaller type of version than the larger flex vault chop saw model. And with the stand, it just makes it that more easier to handle stuff so if you've got three meters length of skirting it makes it very very handy so with the stand very handy for your larger type of materials so now we've got some of the more basic tools every DIY slash carpenter should have so we've got the impact driver the combination drill the jigsaw planer and circular saw and we're just gonna do a quick test on all of them now okay so every DIY person slash carpenter should have one okay so let's get the battery in Let's first start off with a drill. You can put loads of different bits in it, auger bits, flat bits, you name it. So there's also metal bits you can put in and just a lot of different bits. So this is the number one tool that every carpenter slash DIY 
DIY person should have, okay? Like, makes holes to drill into for the combination, for the impact driver to drill into. Okay, easy. That was a bit wide, but easy. You've also got flat bits for drilling out circles. And it's also used for doors as well. Drilling out holes and keeps for the doors, okay? So just put it in, simple. Okay. A quick tip if you wanna make sure that doesn't happen that I've just had happen. So tighten it up. Make sure it's tight, and then if you clip it one way, the opposite direction, it won't fall out, and that just locks it in place, and it won't fall out. Okay, so let's do it again. Come in the other direction. So we don't have any breakout, even though this isn't on a proper job, it doesn't matter, but there you go, and that's a clean hole. Do it one more time. And one more time. Okay. You've also got your metal bit that can drill into metal. And again, clip it on. Okay, that's tight. Clip it one direction the other way. And it's locked in place. Now this is metal, I don't really use it that much, so I'm gonna test it out on here, all right? So, test it out. This is a metal drill bit. Drills through, simple, nice, clean, easy. Combination bit, easy to use, and it's very handy. Every carpenter should have one. Okay, so that's that done. Okay, also, Impact driver, very easy to use. Impact driver, very easy to use. You can also put flat bits in. It just, it's a higher impact and I would not use it for any finishing carpentry, just my preference. But it's just high impact, very rough and for drilling in screws as well. Easy, simple, fast. It just makes life a lot easier. Okay, so two simple tools. Now let's move on to the jigsaw. So everyone should know what this tool is. It's a jigsaw. You've got your adjustments here. You can set it to 45. So it's got the 45 mark, 15 degree mark, and then zero mark, clip it in place, lock it in place. And you can just do your jigsaw cuts. So you can do round cuts, zigzag cuts, and a lot of different scribes with it as well. Okay, so a rough round cut, zigzag cut now. Okay, so with the jigsaw, it's basically for doing scribe cuts, angle cuts, and a lot of different cuts at angle. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the planer. Another one of them tools everyone should know. Mainly used for cutting down timber when you don't need to cut it down too much. And also used for doors. It's mainly used for doors, okay? So on a door, plane it to suit the door or trim it down. So used for trimming down doors or sheet material or literally anything, you can use it anyway. Same here. Okay, so here's a mill now. One mil, 1 mil, 1.5. 
two mil okay so you can, you've got quite a lot of adjustments on here and it comes in very very handy for a lot of different type of stuff now the final one that everyone should know if you haven't got a hand saw it's always best to use a circular saw set your saw to what you're cutting through so set it so it's just cutting it saves the blade and it's easier to cut and then it cuts a lot easier okay for straight cuts make your mark cut down and it's very straight very easy to use very simple works just like a handsaw so it works a bit faster than a handsaw but works just like a handsaw okay it's just a fast way of cutting sheet materials down simple okay so that's all of the basic tools now so you got Combination drill, impact driver, jigsaw, planer, circular saw, that's everything. So now we've got the nail guns, okay? So we've got the first fixed nail gun, DCN692. And we've got the second fixed nail gun, which is DCN660, okay? So here's the nail gun set. So here's the one. It's a bit worn now, I've been using it for about a year now and it's always done good okay and this is the first six nailer the first fixed nailer okay so we're gonna take them out and test them both okay so let's go right, so with the nail guns one's used for second fix one's used for first fix first fix just a bit of knowledge first fix is everything before the plaster work. So your first fixing is building stud walls, putting in joists, putting in ceilings, everything before the plaster work. Second fix is everything after plaster work. So you're talking skirting boards, architrave, doors, everything after plaster work, okay? So let's say that again, slower. First fix, everything before plaster work. Second fix, everything after plaster work okay so the second fix nailer will be used for putting on architrave skirting slamming strips beading every everything like that okay so it's not as strong as the first fix nailer but it's pretty strong okay so let's use it straight through and it just it can attach to different sheets of material so if i want to attach these two together works like a screwdriver but it's not and it's attached together okay yeah it's got its depth adjustment just on the side here so you can make it go deeper or you can make it more shallower okay you can tell on here which it is so this way we'll be going deeper so if i do it this way going towards the symbol that's obviously stating deeper it's gonna go deeper if i do the other opposite way it's gonna be shallower okay and it's also got a bump start action so Okay, this is bump start. Okay, so you need to see the bump start. This is single fire. That's bump start. Okay, so if I say it's a single fire, which is this one, literally just hold it in and it will only go one at a time. If I set it to bump start, which is literally, I can hold in the trigger and then just do a lot at a time. So I'll show you. and that's what it is basically so that's just a quick overview on the dewalt nailer now you've got now we've got the first fixed nailer which is used for a lot of 
heavy duty stuff, a lot of heavier duty stuff. So it's used for putting up stud walls, putting in joists and a lot of different other stuff, okay? Before plaster work. Sick. Now, with this, it's not used for second fixing. So it may come straight through. Okay, but let's see. Nope, didn't come straight through. But you can just see how deep it's going how the head is a lot bigger so you can tell it's just used for heavy duty stuff this also has bump start which you just move this out of the way it's got a hook here moved it out of the way and it's already on bump start okay single fire bump start okay so let's do bump start That's what it is. So if you see underneath, you can see that they've all come through, clean, nice, simple. Okay. So that is the two nailers and what they are used for. Okay, so now we've got the router. So here's the router, it's a palm router. So it can't do any kitchen worktops or anything like that. It's just for finishing and trimming used for a lot of different type of stuff so I'll show you some of the uses now here's the adjustments so you can adjust it fairly easy just undo this bit here and then come in in not coming out and then come in in okay so come in out and come in in okay See how far you want it to come down, see how far you want it to come up, clip it in place and then turn it on. Here are the different cutters. So you got the Ovlo cut. And you've got chamfers, an array of different cutters that do different types of cut. Now, in each set, it will normally say the types of cut they do, okay? So as you can see, the different types of cut. It's easy, you just put, you can just put the bit in, tighten it up a little bit. Okay, tighten it up. Lock it down. And just tighten it up, simple. People also make skirting this way so if you can't get the right piece of skirting you can always rip a piece of MDF down do a little chamfer on it and use that as skirting and this is an effective way to save money and to get the right size skirting you want okay it can also be used for architrave use the table saw to rip your sheet materials down and then use the router to do a chamfer. It can work as skirting. So that's just a quick and handy tip. And you can get a variety of different cutters to suit the router. So this is probably one of my best tools to use. With the router, you've also got the plunge attachment. Okay, so here's the plunge attachment. Okay. Here's the plunge attachment. It's easily interchangeable. Just pull it in, easy. Clip it out.
Okay, so it's easy to put in. Okay, lock it in place, lock it in, put the battery in. You've also got the speed adjustment here. Okay, so using the plunge attachment, it just makes it a lot more easier to control. Okay, so it's all about control. Okay, so you've got a depth guide on the side as well. I'm just going to do a quick cut here. And here it is so you can do a rounded cut which comes in very very handy so here's the straight cut and it's just rounded here so you can make rounded skirting and a lot of different trimming work and it makes a very nice finish also on if you're making bespoke wardrobes or cabinets for to make to do the doors you can have a rounded edge which just looks a bit neater in my opinion. So it's very handy, very nice, very neat, and I love the router. Here is another set of tools. <clears throat> so you've got the leaf blower, DeWalt leaf blower, DeWalt sander, multi-tool, angle grinder, and SDS, okay? So I'm gonna run through these pretty quickly because they are kind of easy to understand and they are kind of the basic type of tools okay first we've got the SDS drill SDS stands for slotted drive shaft okay and with the SDS it's an SDS drill it just drills through concrete brick and just helps you to get a fixing basically so you put the bit in either six, eight, 10 mil bit. So it drills into brick, breeze block, and everything, masonry. And you can also drill into the ground with this as well. So yeah, it's, this is just the SDS drill. We've also got the angle grinder. It's for mainly used for cutting down metal. So you've got a variety of different attachments and blades, you've got a metal type blade and you've also got a brick blade so a mortar blade sorry so you, this blade is for cutting down bricks and grinding out mortar as well so that's basically what it does and the metal type blade is just self-explanatory cuts down metal so that's the angle grinder do a quick tour on it Okay, so simple, easy to use, nice. Okay, so we've also got the multi-tool, okay? Another easy tool to use. Literally, you've got a lot of different blades. Here's the type of blades that I use, okay? So you've got metal blades, if you can see it by metal blade used for wood and nails okay so you've also got a wood blade okay and for the multi-tool it's used for a variety of different things you can cut down stuff with it you can you've got a lot of different attachments for it you've also got a sander attachment okay and one of the ways you can use it is literally just cutting down different types of materials electricians use it for cutting out the boxes okay so if you want to install a box into a plasterboard wall they normally just Okay, so imagine that that's your electrical box. 
your double socket electrical box so i know it's not neat i haven't done the drawings well i haven't marked it out but that's how they would do it and fit it to the plasterboard drill it out put the box in nice easy simple all right so here we've got some nails and the multi tool here's the metal bit and we're just going to take out these try and take out these nails let's see how it goes one gone two gone three gone and four gone and very easy and it's still the timber is still attached together okay so if you need to take out nails very easy again okay this is probably one of my best tools it's helped me out so many times and it's just a very handy tool to have in your toolbox okay the dewalt leaf blower um kind of self-explanatory it's just easy to use i've got a separate full video on the leaf blower already what it does is just if you've got dust or dust on your tools or anything you can just clean it off easy nice and clean and that is the dewalt leaf blower there's not much i can say about this because it's just a leaf blower and it just blows away dust but it does its work very good there's also a flex vault model you can get which is a bit bigger and i assume to be more powerful it just gives a higher input output sorry but this is the dewalt leaf blower there is a bigger version but i chose to get this one because i'm not doing any gardening the dewalt orbital sander this is the dewalt orbital sander it's another very handy tool my pad's a bit worn at the moment but literally it's got the speed adjustment on it and it's very easy to use button here push it in very easy So you can sand down you can send down a variety of different timbers and doors and anything you can just sand down with this comes in very handy very handy you can just peel it off very easy and change the pad very easy okay okay the dewalt track saw now this is another one of them tools which i've done a review on already i've got a full review on it so i'm not going to go into full depth the other video i will link in the description okay but this is just a brief very brief overview okay so you've got the tracks there's two 1.5 lengths 1.5 meter lengths here's the tracks you can attach them together which makes three meter lengths the track saw what i use it for is cutting down worktops cutting down doors cutting down sheet material and a variety of different things okay it's just good for cutting stuff it's like a circular saw but i think it's a neater finish and it's just a little bit easy to use okay so the tracks hold it in place you can put the battery in it is of the flex vault model range again so here it is it only works off the flex vault batteries it's just very easy to use you put the track on you put the saw on the track it's got a variety of different adjustments on the angle and the depth put it on the track lock it in place hold it down and plunge it down
easy, clean, nice, okay? I'm not gonna go all the way through because I'm using this bench at the moment, but that is the track saw, nice and simple. Okay, another very important tool. So, the DeWalt radio, okay? It's battery powered, you can put the battery in, nice and simple. You can also connect it to a mains, okay? But, very simple to use, very easy to use. It can, it works off Bluetooth, DAB radio, and it's just very nice, easy, handy, and it can charge your phone as well with a connection here. Yeah, it's just a very nice, handy radio to have, and it gets really loud. It's an on-site radio, so it does get very loud, and the bass is sweet on it, everything is nice. Okay, so I do love the radio station. Okay, another tool I've got, the DeWalt laser. Now, this is just gonna be a quick one. It's literally DeWalt laser, works as a laser level. Put the lines horizontal, parallel, okay? Or portrait, landscape, sorry. And it works very easy. It just gives a laser line, can level up your units, your door frames, your stud walls, everything, okay? I've got the green version, okay? You can see it only slightly because we're outside, but yeah, it works very well and I do love it. It also works off batteries. This is the DeWalt Tough System Storage Containers, okay? So I've already done a full YouTube video on this, so we're only gonna go for really fast going through this. Okay, so this is the 2.0 .0 version. On the previous version, it was very bad. It, was all, it wasn't sturdy enough. The wheels were bad and plastic, but they have really upgraded the to We've really made a big upgrade for, to the 2.0 system. Okay, so first, we've got the top. You can store your drills in it, your impact driver, and your combination drill. It's also got a compartment for screws, drills, and anything you need to store, okay? Which is handy. So that's one storage. Nice clips, and it's got the rubber seals to protect from any water getting in okay so that's one storage coming down another big storage you can have either tools accessories and a whole lot of other stuff in there okay Keep it on first. and the final storage an even bigger storage and I keep all my tools in here. It's got a padlock. Well, you can put a padlock on, okay? Makes it very handy. And I'm just keeping all my tools in here. And it's also got the rubber wheels, so it's very easily portable. It's very portable, very easy to take around. You probably have these if you're working in hospitals, hotels, stuff with long corridors, okay? That's what it is normally used for, but you can use it for literally anything, okay? But yeah, and that is all of my tools. So we went through every single one of my power tools. I may have missed one, but this is everything that I have on me, okay? And this is everything I use for my carpentry work and I'm able to do most if not all jobs that I have been required to do that people ask me to do so yeah um, if you enjoyed the video please consider dropping a like a subscription and let me know what you think on the comments and I got this video from a comment of Instagram so if you want to give a comment saying what you would like to know next or what would 
you would like to show next or what you would like me to do a video about next let me know and i will try and make it work but thank you for watching and goodbye